Now, we're going to click underneath this table right here. Okay, we're going to put a little navigation bar there. So what I did is I just clicked below this table. Oops, scoot it over a little bit, no problem. Click right there. And I'm going to go ahead and add another table. Click this. Now, rows one, this time we can make the columns, let's say, four or five. Five is good. Okay, table width, we want it to be 100%, and these are all still at zero. So the rows go across, columns up and down. We hit OK. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and hit Apple Command S or Control S. What you have to do on this, this is going to hold some, uh, some navigation now, some links. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to close this window right now so you can see my uh, page a little bit bigger. Don't worry, it's all good. Now I can move this out a little bit and you'll be able to see it a little bit more clearly. Okay, now within this, we want to select across this whole thing. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking in this first cell right here. Clicking, holding down my mouse, and dragging straight across. So we select all five of the cells. Okay, I'm going to click out here to deselect them. So what I just did was I brought my cursor over here. I'm going to click and hold in the first one. So I'm clicking and I'm holding down right now. I'm just going to drag straight across, and it selects all of these cells. And what we're going to do is we're going to make them 20%. Because 5 divided by 20, or 5 times 20 is 100. This is 100%. So we're going to make each one of these the equal amount. Okay. So down here on the uh, width where it says right there, you can type in 20 and then shift 5, right? That's the percent sign. And then just hit the tab button and adjust that. And you notice up here, it just made each cell 20% of the total. All right, so what we're going to put right here is home. And then what we can do while we're here, let's go ahead and select that again. And horizontal center. All right, now let's say here we'll put Photoshop. That would be another cell or another link. Flash. Uh, movies, and our last link will be Inspiration. Okay, these can be any words you want. If you have something else you're going to be using, then that's totally fine. These are going to be links, though. So what we're going to do up here, we're going to adjust or modify the page properties. I'm going to save this again. I like to save a lot. Go to Modify Page Properties. There's also the Apple Command J. So now the default, the page default, it's a little easier to read as sans serif font. So I'm going to click on here and go to the Arial. Okay. Size, the default size for most of the text, I'm going to go ahead and put it 12. Text color, um, let's see, Maybe let's make that a dark gray. Background color, we'll leave that like it is. Pete, okay. Now, I'm going to go here. Let me, let me hit apply. See, here's our text. Here's what our page looks like. Now, if I hit apply, now that text just went to the dark gray. It went to 12 point Arial. Okay. Is that dark? Yeah, it's pretty dark gray. That's as dark as it gets. Oh, okay, that's cool. Now, the links right here click on that, I'm going to set that. So link font, same as page font. Yeah, but I want to make sure it reads the right font. So I'm going to go ahead and select Arial again. Now we can go ahead and make these 10 or 12. Maybe we'll do the 10. Link color. Okay, maybe I'll start that out as the dark gray. So they look just like the rest of the text. And then the visited links. Let me go ahead and make that a little bit lighter gray. So then after they visited the link, 
it'll turn to this color, maybe one shade darker. That way people know they've been there. When they roll over the link, click right there, let me get a pretty color. Maybe I'll do a deep blue. So when they roll over the link, they'll hit that. I'm not exactly sure the active link. I, um, I'll make it the same as the, or actually the same as the rollover, because I haven't noticed that make much of a difference, and I'm not clear on exactly what that is. But, so we'll change it to that. Now the underlying style. When people go to a web page, They'll want to under. They want to look, or everything, anything they look at actually will uh, with an underline. They'll think it's a link because that's just how it's always been. It's just one of the ways uh, you know the design thing has gone with the web. So instead of always underline though, because I think that's you know a little boring looking, show underline on rollover only. So when people roll over the text, they'll know it's a link then. So I'll click on that, and now we'll go ahead and apply that and hit OK. We won't see any of those changes yet because um, none of these are actual links at this point. OK, so now um, that's our basic page and what we're going to do here right up at the very top, click now we're inside this cell we're going to go and put a, um, a header in there. OK, so I'm going to import a header I'm going to go to another, let's see, maybe go over here to my sites folder, let's see, new media, assets, images, and I'll just grab a nice header from right there, choose, it's a JPEG, files outside the root folder. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Oh, oops, it went in there. Okay, I'm going to delete that right now. We're going to go ahead and go uh, on the next um, little tutorial here. We're going to go and we're going to set up a uh, this, the folder structure, and then we're going to put the images in because that's bad to link from outside of your uh, site. So that's uh, basically the beginnings of, uh, of your web page. And if you go to File, Preview, and Browser, you just pick a browser here. You pick Firefox, save, and this is the page that we have so far. Nothing's linked or anything like that because uh, we didn't link anything yet. And so that's all we have so far. All right, I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck with things. Bye-bye.